Hey everyone, grab your tea and relax. Today marks six days before my final medical school exams ever. Hopefully. And as you guys know from yesterday's video, I'm going to be vlogging every single day up until the day of my exam. The idea is to give you guys a realistic insight into the life of a medical student in her final year. And I want to share with you guys my genuine experiences in this situation. The lighting here isn't too good, so I'm just going to walk across here no this is even worse oh my god what am i doing okay before we continue the vlog properly let's just have an update with the person that you guys met yesterday shout out to big pimple t who's sitting right here he is growing you can see that he is clustering about to merge into one big mountain whatever you want to call it he did cause me a bit of grief last night. I remember waking up in the middle of the night about two times with just pain on my face and then remembering that it's just this big inflammation just happening on my face. So much fun. So yeah, oh my god, the flowers are so beautiful. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm chilling out here in the garden six days before my exam. Well, let me tell you guys. I remember waking up at five this morning and walking all the way across my room to get my alarm clock, which I turned off. And for some reason I went back to bed. So I ended up then waking up again at seven o'clock. I only watched two YouTube videos. I watched Justin Baldoni's proposal to his wife, Emily and then their wedding video which ended up taking about an hour in total it's not what you want to do before your exam but it was just there on my recommended i should not have logged into youtube in the first place thinking out loud perhaps i shouldn't log on to youtube for a couple of days i can do that i can do that as long as that's okay with you guys i can do that no 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 that's not realistic i may pop in to check on my own video and to upload or whatever but not actually browse things no i don't like this lighting i look so butters okay you guys get to see nice flowers if you don't want to look at my face so that's at least beneficial for you guys but what i wanted to come out here and say is the reason why i'm not inside studying is because my internet cut off this is a bit worrying because in the real exam i wouldn't want the internet to cut off it's a three hour 45 minute exam i have dyslexia so i get the 45 minutes extra time my dad's just on the phone to bt at the moment and hopefully we'll be able to get that fixed at least temporarily but i'm just trying to think of worst case scenarios when the internet does come back on hopefully i'm going to send screenshots to my university and just let them know that my internet has been playing up and if on the day if the computer disconnects i can let them know so the way our exam is going to work is we'll have our phone or an ipad or something just sitting in the corner and the exam invigilator can watch what we're doing and then we'll have our computer screen on which we're doing the exam and we're using the safe browsers to do that so what i'm thinking is if my computer does mess up then I can just use the data on my phone in order to communicate that to the exam invigilator so that they can watch what I'm doing during the time that I'm disconnected. Also, I have clarified at the university that every answer that we're putting in... What's my top doing? Oh my god, you guys did not see that. Ooh, yes, I am in the same top as yesterday. No, I have not showered. If the computer does shut down or I lose connection or whatever, all the answers are saved in real time. So yeah, that's actually reassuring. And I think the way it works is they just give you like a couple of minutes to compensate for the time that the internet had cut off for, which means I just freak out for that couple of minutes and make it back at the end of the exam and sit the exam for longer if that happened. But this is all just negative thinking. My internet hasn't been cutting off on the regs, so this hopefully should be just a one-off. What I've brought out here with me is my iPad. I'm going to review some third year notes whilst I'm out here. It is a bit cold so I'm going to actually move into the sun. Let's move into the sun. This is the part where you guys get to see all the imperfections on my face which I'm clearly so proud to share with you guys. Okay, now it looks like I have no eyebrows, no eyelashes, just a big glaring shiny forehead. Stating real facts. These flowers are kind of dying off now, but... Also, what you guys can't see is this big patelli, which my mom has left right now. This is giving me real-time study with me vibes. <laughs> Vitamin D. 
Ooh. So as I was saying, just got some notes from my third year on this iPad. They're all scans of those notes and I haven't seen all of them in some time but the topics are vaguely familiar. So I'm gonna go and review those. The sun is actually something today. <laughs> I don't have any sun protection on so I'm not too sure how beneficial this is actually for my sensitive skin. Finding a comfortable place to study can actually be a bit of a challenge when you're limited to where you can chill out. No? Oh, oh, okay, I would. Okay, I would. Okay, guys, apparently the engineer who has come to fix the BT hub. It's already here inside. Literally, the internet cut off about half an hour ago, and this guy's already here. Damn, that is efficiency. Okay, I just dropped a shoe outside. By the way, is it okay if I vlog some of the equipment? So, what is this device here? Uh, it's a uh, it's it's a touch screen tester. Oh, okay. Uh, just test test the quality of the line. Okay. About five grand, I think. This? Yeah. Oh my god, wow. <laughs> okay, guys, we are just about to test the internet speed for my room. Uh, my room is actually so messy, so. <laughs> this is not fun. This is not fun. Let me just do some last minute tidying with this. Migrate some things. Google.com. Type in speed test. Oh, is that I can map to restrooms yeah, or <laughs> That's so cool. That's amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so I guess that's my internet problem solved. Oh, <laughs> the map. <laughs> No worries, see you yeah. Bye. Okay, take two. That's my internet problem solved. No, I didn't feel it so much when I did that. <laughs> ah, okay, now I feel it, now I feel it. My internet problem is solved. Oh my God. This means I can bring all my work back from outside and continue to study. Actually, I changed my mind. I'm gonna study out here for a little bit because it's just fun. But for those of you who have been watching my channel frequently, this swing is probably familiar to you. The first time I tried to vlog with it, I broke it. The second time I vlogged with it, I was trying to say that it's not that bad a thing that it broke. And recently, <laughs> this happened. Hey, hold my hand. Oh my mum is all okay and she just found it more funny than anything. But either way, we fixed the swing now. So what we've got underneath this is a piece of wood from a table that I was making for my room. And yeah, I just hope this piece of wood doesn't snap. Yeah, it should be fine to chill out on. Who that? Who's that? I think that was a baby magpie. That was so cute. It was like muddy brown but with metallic colours on it, which I thought was a bit pretty. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna go back inside and do some work. Hey guys, my brain is fried up. Oh my god. So I'm just gonna chill out here on my sofa and just try and do nothing. Actually, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to have an early lunch 
and hopefully that would resolve the issue of me constantly thinking about food but i don't even know what i want to have i want vegetables i don't even like vegetables but vegetables make me feel awake and then i can take my food to the garden listen to the birds get some mindfulness in some meditation and hopefully that would help me to reset my mind i don't want to say clear it because at this point i don't want a blank space in my brain let's go and rehydrate recharge and then maybe in about half an hour or so, we can get back to studying. I've just put some food in the oven. Whilst my brain is not working and I'm waiting for the food to get done, I thought I'd just jump in the shower and then hopefully I feel more refreshed afterwards. I literally look like a naked mole rat right now, but yeah, I've got this mask by sephora on my face right now to just moisturize it smooth it down the food in the oven still isn't ready so i'm i guess just buying some more time in order to relax i really love this mask i bought it from australia but i don't use it so often it is one of my favorite masks about i've got more of these in my drawer that are unopened and then this is another one of my favorite masks this is by Cordely. I have so many products by them. I absolutely love their stuff. Yeah, I just let this sit on my face for a couple of minutes. I'll go wash it off, let it dry, and then I'll go ahead with my normal like moisturizers or whatever. And then hopefully by then it'll be time to eat. All right guys, as it is a beautiful day today, the neighbours are also out in their gardens and it's a little bit disruptive to my revision but I think I've studied enough out here so I'm going to go inside now and I'm going to get ready to pray my Jumma Namah. This whole day I've been abnormally tired and I've just discovered that the tea my mum kindly made for me this morning is actually decaf. So yeah, I'm just going to have to make some more tea for myself again using caffeinated tea and hopefully this should perk me up. Alright guys, so once again I feel I've hit that point in the day where I don't want to really talk much anymore. Um, so I'm going to start concluding this vlog now. Now it's about 2.30pm and in terms of what I have planned for the rest of the day, I'm going to uh, go over some of my existing notes with my brother. I'm going to continue going over some of the notes that I was going over when I was out in the garden. At this point I need to be sure of what I think I know so that I'm not spending too much time in the exam thinking to myself, okay, it's either this option or it's that option. I need to be certain, I need to read the question and have an answer in my head so I can put that down and move on. This will allow me to have more time to process questions where I have to work through things a bit more. So yeah, that concludes the vlog for today. I hope you found it useful. I hope that it's inspired you in some way. If you guys are revising, I wish you guys all the best with your revision. And you'll see me in the next one. Oh wait, wait, wait. Before you guys go, I just felt myself being so fake for that couple of seconds. I'm not gonna fake it. I'm gonna take that smile back because that wasn't genuine. I... I'm not in a chirpy mood, like vlogging mood. This is just how I feel right now. It could be something to do with the fact that I haven't actually had any caffeine today and it's withdrawal or whatever. But yeah, I'm just quite tired and I'm feeling my stress levels kind of creeping up. So yeah, let's try this again. I wish you guys all the best with your exams. Focus on them, make sure you're taking 
breaks, you are hydrating yourself, you're eating well, sleeping well. Practice questions, go over pre-existing notes if you are one of those people who make notes like me. And hopefully you guys will do well in the exams. You'll see me in the next vlog. Why didn't none of you guys tell me I had this thing in my teeth? Like, what the hell? This is not a cool look. What's the name of the game we used to play? Oh, no, you called it <laughs> Blockhead. 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 Wow.